you stop believing. That's it. That's why you failed. You quit. So much talent. So much potential. You stop believing in himself. He lost his way because he couldn't figure out what to do next with his career. And I guess all the stress finally added up and broke him. His music was great. I'd listen to it all the time. It would get me into a pumped up emotional state. And his lyrics never got old. No one gave him a chance. But in today's world, that doesn't even matter. He didn't give himself the chance to take control of his career the way I knew he could have. Maybe it was fear of doubting himself and he crippled his ambition. He did it for so long with no financial gain, no recognition for his genius. Couldn't do no more. He gave up. And that's why. He hung himself in the studio. He couldn't do no more. It pains me because I believed in the guy more than he believed in himself. He forgot the number one lesson, which is to do what you love for the sake of the journey. Nothing is more rewarding than that. Nothing. He lost sight of that. He forgot what it's all about. It's not about the money or the fame, or the compliments. It's about doing what you love and expressing yourself creatively because it's what your soul needs to do. He lost track of that enjoyment and instead, he found himself being caught up with what most people get stuck on. I just wish I somehow knew how deep he'd fell on <laughs> I just wish I somehow knew how deep he'd fell off in his belief because I I miss him very much. He was a dear friend and a talented artist and the world has been robbed of his contribution to humanity. It hurts. It's sad. Didn't have to happen this way.